Regina Hall has come a long way since she made her theatrical debut in 1999's The Best Man. The award-winning actress became a breakout star thanks to her portrayal of Candace Candy Sparks, a stripper that catches the eye of Julian Merck Murchison, Harold Perrineau, at his friend's bachelor party. Hall's role made such an impression on fans and production, she returned for the film's 2013 sequel, The Best Man Holiday, and now, its spin-off series. This was my very first movie, and, it was so exciting for me to be able to play opposite people that I loved and have been watching, Hall recounted for E.T. To be able to go and be part of a real movie, like a feature film. And, you know, this is before streaming, this is when a movie was an event. So it was really special and it still is special, she added. That's why when it happened the first time, it was amazing. And then 15 years later. It's great. The shine hasn't dulled for Hall, whose rising star flourished into a career of scene-stealing roles, including Brenda Meeks in the scary movie film franchise, Ryan Pierce in 2017's Girls Trip and Lisa Conroy in 2018's Support the Girls. Her work in the Andrew Bujalski directed comedy received critical acclaim and Hall made history by becoming the first black woman to win the New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Actress. More recently, the actress served as the host for the 94th Annual Academy Awards alongside co-hosts Amy Schumer and Wanda Sykes. As Hall's co-star, Morris Chestnut, cheekily put it, she's gone from the poll to the Oscars. And now Hall, Chestnut, Tay Diggs, Sanaa Lathan, Mia Long, Melissa D'Souza, Terence Howard and Harold Perrineau have reunited to reprise their iconic roles for Peacock's limited series, The Best Man, The Final Chapters. Based on the Universal movies by writer-director Malcolm D. Lee, the final chapters follows Harper, Diggs, Robin, Lathan, Jordan, Long, Lance, Chestnut, Quentin, Howard, Shelby, D'Souza, Candace, Hall, and Merck, Perrineau, as their relationships evolve and past grievances resurface in the unpredictable stages of midlife crisis meets midlife renaissance. The limited series brings several recurring guest stars together with our favorite dysfunctional friend group as Harper is given the opportunity to turn his debut novel that kicked off the wild ride over 20 years ago, Unfinished Business, into a movie. And, according to the cast, the series will be the official end of their journey altogether. We've had a ball and, who knows, but I know we definitely feel a sense of a rightful circle, Paul said when asked whether the series will really serve as the end of the Eightsome's journey. Without a doubt, Chestnut agreed with his co-star, noting that although most people never even expected the film to have a sequel, 2013's The Best Man Holiday, let alone a spin-off series, there's a finality to the show. I think one of the differences here is instead of getting two hours, the audience is getting basically eight hours and eight episodes. So, I think everything comes full circle and you put a bow on it. I think they will be satisfied. The Best Man, Final Chapters premieres on deck. 22. Terence Howard on retiring from acting after The Best Man, The Final Chapters, exclusive, this video is unavailable because we were unable to load a message from our sponsors. If you are using ad blocking software, please disable it and reload the page.